Hello everyone. Before we start the show, have a little chat about Patreon. You need to get over to Patreon. Why, Dean? Because we've got loads of stuff on there, Amy. <laughs> 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 Back to the studio. <laughs> Now we've got loads of stuff over on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way you can financially support us as a podcast. You can start up for as little as £3 a month, and that gets you access to everything. We've got, like, an extra episode a week. We've got live shows on there, live talent shows where we have mates come on, don't know what's going to happen. People can win cash prizes. Tell them more about it, Amy. Well, and also, <laughs> depending on what tier you go, you get, like, signed prints and uh, members-only club cards mm. and shit like that. Um, you can also send in questions for our guests if you specifically want to ask them something. That's, like, a direct link to some famous people that we have. That's good, isn't it? Dean, back to you, Dean. That is Amy. <laughs> Thank you very much. We also have uh, specials that we've been doing. We've got a VR special that's just gone up with Ishan Akbar. Uh, we've got Axe Throne special, Sports Day on Substances, where we all had we all played sports games. It was dev fun. We're going to have loads of new specials coming on in the future. Um, what else? Uh, back, back to you, Amy. Uh, we go, we're, doing, um, we're doing Dungeons & Dragons, which I'm really excited about. We're all going to be goblins, and we're all going to be on substances on and be goblins and i can't wait and i hope we do it regularly and that'll be on patreon um what else dear uh we've discount codes on merch early access to tickets uh free live show tickets if you're a 10 pound patron that's a that's a free ticket every month um and seven days early access, sometimes eight this days if we're feeling... Uh, beep, 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 this just in. Eight days early access sometimes, and sometimes it's seven days. But either way, you get it a week before anybody else does. For just £3 a month, sick, Diana, £1.50 each a That's, month you're giving us. What's that? What's that? I know it's a cost of living crisis, but we're, we're poor too. Yeah, <laughs> help us out. We're trying to, like, rep the North West, innit? And, and the povs of, of this here country. Yeah, so get on it. There's loads of stuff on there. It's always growing. It's always getting bigger. It's always getting better. It's fantastic. Good value for money. Get we love on the you Patreon. and we really appreciate all your support and your love and thank you and see you on Patreon. Back to you at home. <laughs> That's you guys. That's a day for the weather. Cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. we're back. I uh, don't know what number episode it is. We were Shane Todd, William Thompson. They've come and joined us on Welcome, there. guys. You're on, you're on your, is it your little UK tour, is it? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, how's it been going? It's been good. I was I was saying I I split my tour up. Yeah. So instead of just doing like an actual tour of one night after the other, I just mm. take it four days here, five days there. That I have two oh, young okay. kids, so I just yeah. I I go at like a slower speed. Yeah. And it is the dullest tour. Like off stage, the only thing I do is Nando's. Yeah. There's no <laughs> no. Oh, where are you going for drinks after? The, there's no drinks after the show. Is that your rock and roll? Is yeah. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. getting on the shite. As Some, say. Sometimes <laughs> I'll get like extra peri peri salt. Like that's when you know why oh, people yeah. are like he's, he's on it tonight. Wake up dehydrated <laughs> and that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Do I tell them where we just were? Right. Let me be on. Right. Okay. So let me be honest. Right. I come here. This is hanging over me. So I, we arranged this to be two o'clock. I was like, we're running a wee bit late. Yeah. Mm. Um. And I said the room wasn't ready. Yeah. That's that. That's not. It was the real a lie. Reason. You lied You're to right. me already. Yeah. We've only just met. I know. <laughs> this is not a good start. Yeah, we built some trust over this next <laughs> hour now. We we, we t- t- together. We're getting them a massage from Tyson Fury's masseuse. <laughs> oh, okay, oh. fair enough. <laughs> what? How? Oh. I put it out. I messaged the guy who from home who used to play football and who played for Liverpool. Right. I was like, with the with the kids and a newborn and that kind of thing, I'm knackered. My body's mm. in bits. Mm. Yeah. I'm falling apart. Do you know someone who could like get get the back and neck sorted out? And, and he Tyson recommended Fury. a guy. And he just happens to be Tyson Fury's like wow. full time masseuse. Are you How bruised? big is he? About my height, yeah. is he? Yeah, yeah. Like five four. It must be like fucking wow. walking all Dense. over Tyson Fury's back, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, so like people have a definitely like oh, it must be wild when you're on tour, pints and all that kind of thing. We were just sitting, classic music on, <laughs> just face down. That sounds better bath. to me than going oh, out and getting on it. That's, like, that's it. Nice mm-hmm. relaxing yep. time. Watching, Thirty four, and I've had my fun. Yeah, watching yeah, yeah. you try to explain to the receptionist. <laughs> That a masseuse is coming <laughs> yeah. was my favorite I, thing of it. Oh, so it's been in. It was in the hotel. He came to the hotel. Right. Okay. So the room was ready. There was yeah, just yeah. a man in it robbing us. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I texted him last night and I said, "Listen, the, I'm getting the massage in the room when we arrive in Liverpool, and you have to be there. You have to be there too. Because oh, so it just, it just, there's some not right about that in the hotel room. Like, so did you? How did you feel just sitting in the corner watching? 
It was one of the kept trying to talk to me, and I was trying to watch football, being like, I'm ignoring all of this. <laughs> it's a dream. We had the World Cup on. Oh, yeah, right, we're okay. getting a wee massage. <laughs> but this is the way I normally operate this week. But he month. had to go down to the ho- reception and be like, <laughs> There's a man. There's coming. gonna. His actual words were, We are comedians, so there's gonna be a man with a massage table licking us in our room. And I was like, The comedy bit had nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So going, I'm a dentist, so there's gonna be a man in a gimp suit coming up at any yeah. point. <laughs> Yeah, that's wow. mad. Well, no, that, he's coming to five. That must, have, <laughs> that must happen like loads though in hotels, innit? Like people coming in and going, oh. Yeah. Or maybe I, not, actually. I think it was even audience. weirder that I explained it. <laughs> she was yeah. looking at me like, you could have you just went up to the room, like, why are you telling me all this? <laughs> I don't know, because it, it would have been time, weird though, Last time it? I went for a massage, I got like a 50% off voucher, right. and they only did half me back. Genuinely. Being serious? Yeah. yeah. She only did half me back. Like and one side of the top and bottom? One half. That's Wait, it was like, it was like the right hand side. Of a massage. Oh, That's genius the business stuff. No? Oh, we'll do it's ban- literally ban- 50%. Ban- yeah. yeah, yeah. And But me, me saw side is the other one that she didn't do, <laughs> so I was fuming. <laughs> so I have to go back and get the other Did half. Did it definitely say <laughs> off or of? A massage. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had one end. <laughs> then you go, oh, it's 50% of a massage yeah. and you have to pay for the other half. Yeah. <laughs> I feel I feel very vulnerable on my face in that wee thing. Mm. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. See, I've only ever had one massage. Really? I'm we- I've, I've, yeah, I've, it's what? being touched. Like I'm dead ticklish. So right. They bod- don't do that. No, but, like, <laughs> but my body sort of if you want. responds the same way. Right. It makes me sort of go... Like a bit, oh, like ah, yeah. I'm the exact yeah, same. I yeah. kept giggling, and he's like, "Are yeah. you all right?" I'm like, this is really ticklish. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, "Give me a proper sports rub down," and I'm in the thing going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so even like when I got I got me me ribs tattooed, I said to the fellow, "I was like, I'm dead ticklish. So I'm sorry if I move." And he went, "Oh, it won't tickle." And I'm like, "But it's not the tattoo that's tickling me. It's when you touch me." I go, right. oh, like ah, that. Yeah, yeah. So it took me ages to sort of get into that mindset of like, I have to proper like focus and be like, yeah, hey, don't move. So it's not very relaxing for right, me. Right, right. Mm. Like, Rib tattoos are horrible anyway because you can't breathe. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like you, you have to breathe. Yeah. But when you do breathe, you're moving the canvas, aren't you? Yeah. For the, <laughs> for the I, artist. I don't look like a guy who has tattoos, but I got three last week. In, in one week? One week. In one In one day. So yeah. one, was a, one was a bet for, uh, we said if we got a certain amount of, People on Patreon for the podcast, we get a podcast called Tea With Me. You get a teacup yeah. on oh, my yeah. on, on, on us. So like everyone that works on the podcast got that. Nice. And then I got like just a couple on my arms from a son's. Just just a, their, their initials. There's one on yeah. your foot. Yeah. So how, how did you find it? See, to be honest, all the other ones fine. Like yeah. barely felt it. See, because that's on like the, the, oh, right, the ankle bone. bone. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize yeah, you had it in your ankle. I, I, Could you be more white girl than Madeline? <laughs> <laughs> well, I also I gotta live laugh love as well. Uh, <laughs> it was it was ten out of ten pain. Yeah, like it sucks on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's we weird. were because we were filming it. I think people will go, oh, he's, you know, it's, it's a bit. It, yeah. was, it was ten out of ten pain. Yeah, you feel shit, I've man. got my knee capped on. That just feels disgusting. Oh yeah, my full leg pretty. I much. mean something right. else where we're from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get knee capped. <laughs> to get get your knee capped on. Oh, you never okay, heard of this? Okay. Yeah, 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 people yeah. get. Yeah, I've heard of it. If, yeah. they're, if, if they're cheeky boys, you know. <laughs> I'm a cheeky boy. Um, but yeah, it's like, because it, it, it's not even necessarily pain. It just feels disgusting. Yeah, not right. Just right. Like someone's digging in your bones. Yeah, not normal. Yeah, yeah. Like I felt like um, you, know, you could like feel a needle and it felt more like someone hitting you with a little hammer rather right. than like on a muscle. It feels way deep. Like it feels like a bit of a deep sting. Right. That was just knocking me sick. It's like all just, disgusting. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's not horrible. normal. So w- William does a podcast with a, with a guy called P- Paddy who has a dick tattooed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. What's he got what, on it? Yeah. Uh, um, well, he wanted a sword. But his dick wasn't big enough, so he has a dagger. It's true. Uh, uh, Swiss true. Army knife. Yeah. <laughs> he got it done at a, ta- a, a tattoo convention. And, uh, Mike, look, it might not even Santa Ponza. Not even a tattoo convention. Just some dude that was open in Santa Ponza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was fucking hammered. Yeah, That's mad. You so, may be the two, only two people that he hasn't shown it to uh, in the UK and Ireland. That's yeah. hilarious. Okay, uh, so, this time. do you know much about when he got it done? Because I've never, do, I, I used to tattoo. Yeah, I, I've never done one, but I've always wondered. Like, do you have to do them erect On flop or? or do you just pull it out? Or he was. Did he mention anything? He, about he said that? he basically you know, never mentioned that to me. No. It, it was it was done like you could tell me like an old old school way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more like an old school way. I don't know what so it was done with, like a fucking blow, that did not a blow dart. The soft deck, hard deck, that <laughs> at all. So it was, it was old school, hard deck. I think, so. I think it was tapped. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. 
Yeah. I don't know. That would that would be a nightmare if you like you had to tattoo a guy and keep him hard at the same time. Because <laughs> yeah. the tattoo guy just yeah. working it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <'Cause> <laughs> they, why do I think that would get someone hard? <laughs> Got me hard. <laughs> like I'm hard right now. Uh, but I've heard of piercings. Like if you're getting your dick pierced, it yeah. has to be hard because yeah. if you get if you get it pierced soft and then you get an erection. Might be too tight on the piercing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know how you could get an erection knowing that someone's about to do, stab your dick. And do you, do you go into the piercing pre erect or do you have to like get the erection in there? I think you'd have to go in there because turning up for the appointment hard and keeping it hard for like 20 minutes while you're waiting. And Guess like, what I want pierced? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just dinging the bell on the reception. With I've it never like. seen a pierced dick. No. no, there's all sorts you can do with them. You can get them like down the. People get like a. It's called like a wasp or something. You get like a multiple right down it. But why are people doing that? <laughs> right now, what sick man, aren't they? Yeah, like <laughs> Some it. people Some are people traumatized. Want, want a stick. Who are mm. we to begrudge them? That's yeah. free country. Some people go get tattoos and they get wet <laughs> because of the pain. Serious? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. So you've no. seen yeah, multiple videos of people like squirting and shit while they're getting yeah. tattooed. No, yeah, not <laughs> that's happened one. That has happened multiple times. I bet you it has. Yeah, people <laughs> are able to find it. it all over the this place. Shane's a very innocent wee boy, so this is blowing his mind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, a, there's a deep, dark world out there, <laughs> right? Right, right. <laughs> Where'd you like, see a video of someone squirting while getting tattooed? I'm like Twitter or something. I'll, like, I'll, I'll send you a link if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter's a wonderful website. Oh, Ronaldo's <laughs> left United. Oh, she's squirting while getting tattooed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy on Twitter. There's man. trust resigned. Like the Wild West, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> resigned and went and got a tattoo to <laughs> mark the occasion. <laughs> have you got any tattoos? I have one that's on my chest, mm. but I've never had one on the bone because I'm you know, quite a chubby bastard, so it's all tit. Yeah, right. I've, I've never had on the bone mm. yeah. so uh, but it's all just tit it's i never sore. thought i'd get one and i, I like them but I, 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 I don't think i'll have any more maybe do one mm. they're, they're really addictive i want a sleeve i'm dying for a sleeve but i don't know what i want but just then you shouldn't get it mm. but that's why i haven't got it yet it depends though cause I, i'm I, not asked about what it is though yeah like like, I, do, you, do you like do you like to get them to mark occasions or because that's why i've got all i my get thing. artists me like yeah. I, I'll see someone, you know, like like you're collecting a painting of someone, yeah, yeah. like you're buying a painting. Yeah. It's like so I'll go and I'll go. Oh, I've got this space here. Just do what you want because I really? like their work. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Right, so I go. All, right. I, I used to go all over getting tattooed by individual people, right? Like specific people whose work I really like. Yeah. I yeah. know what I'm going to enjoy. Well, that makes what sense. They've done on me, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah ma'am. But like this one, this one took months to be booked in for. Like right. it, there was a. Is that Japanese? Am I? No, no, it's like tr American traditional. traditional that right. Yeah, um, but he was. We, so we went to Australia, and then we booked in in like May, and I could only get in in October. Like that's how. It's, how it's a whole take? world out there. Well, how long did that take? Probably about five hours. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was one awful session. Awful though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first. That's the good going the first one day. I get it, got is because I lost a bet. So I was doing a radio yeah. show with my mate Dave. Mm. We used to do a general knowledge quiz every week, and um, the loser. The winner got to pick the tattoo for the loser. Right. Right. So if he lost, I was going to make him get a portrait of my dad's face <laughs> on his arm. <laughs> uh, but from when my dad was younger, because yeah. yeah. people still might put it together and go, is that Shane's dad? Whereas I wanted people to go, who the fuck's that like <laughs> yeah. 35 year old fellow <laughs> man? Is <laughs> that Shane? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is that that's just a really badly do done people, Shane? Do many people know what your dad looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of, he's like, a, he's a character, you know? Is oh, he? Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, why do. Why do so many people know what he looks like? I just think if, if back home, if I maybe follow my stuff, right. I, I, he's in videos and that right, kind of, okay, that kind yeah, of thing. yeah, onto it, yeah. Um, that's funny, that. But I, I lost a bet. So you got the teacup? No. Oh, I had to get it's on the. Oh, so you got another one, right? Okay. I had to get a full tribute to his daughter, really. Because I'm his daughter's godfather. Right. So I had to get a tattoo that says the Todd father, which I've never called myself <laughs> ever. Yeah. I have with his daughter's date of birth in it. Ah, that's funny. Is her, fa is her face on? No. That would have been super weird. Yeah. Your dad's funny. His daughter's... Uh, yeah. yeah, I would tattoo yeah, people go, is, is that your daughter? And I'm like, nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody else's daughter. <laughs> that's just a mate. <laughs> yeah, that that's mad, that. Dead weird, yeah. So you tour, what's it called? Oh, what is this one called? I feel like it's been going on for so long. This is Grand. 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 And what's the theme? So it's sort of plain... I, I don't theme it too much because okay. I... The stand-up I like to do and the stand-up I even like to watch is just 
kind of funny for the Jokes. sake of funny. I don't yeah, really care yeah. about a, a message okay. or a mm. anything like that. Um, so it's just based on like it, back home in Ireland, we the way we use the word grand is like not shit, it's not good, mm. it's grand. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas you know, like even in England or America, if something's grand, it means it's palatial yeah. or it's so Massive, it's it's grandiose, it, yes. like yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's about our it's about life coaches as well people trying to tell you nowadays you got to be this you got to be that and i'm, I'm just aiming for grand okay. yeah you know, so, right but it, but it, just a little bit about that you know yeah okay just because you like needed a name yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you yeah. need a blurb for the show <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and is yeah. it like heavily irish culture is that no no nah, okay. no just because i i would like anyone gigging back home at the start we would have done you know it's all in, it, it's very yeah. much based around Belfast and, mm. and Northern Ireland. And when you gig in Belfast, do you still kind of do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People always go like, what do you do when you're in England? I'm like, certainly not those jokes. So you, you gotta make yeah. it way more universal. Yeah, so if yeah. I'm gigging, if I'm, I did a bit of the tour in the States or yeah. England, I want people to still get it as much. So, Do you find that you can do a different set for Northern England to Southern England? Do you see a difference in that? No, I don't even... Are we all the same to you? I, I see a difference <laughs> when in, in London audiences. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. outside and outside of London, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. I think it's more, it's a wee bit more of like a hotbed when you're getting London, like for certain subjects. And I don't like it. Yeah, no, I do like it. I just find I just find the audience is more. Go down south, I, like I find them like harder work, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. You, well, we're all like dead miserable up here, so we really right, appreciate right. laughter. You yeah. know, but here, especially Liverpool, Glasgow, Manchester, to an extent, it, it's. Just like home. Any yeah, more working class, really I similar. enjoy gigging. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. really. Yeah, That's yeah. That's it, yeah. They're all looking for an escape, innit? And yeah. Just like, there's also in, in London, there's certain words that piss people off. So it doesn't yeah. matter the context in which you say them. They've just heard you've said that word. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I have yeah. cerebral palsy, so I'll use the word spastic mm. in my stand-up. Because mm. I fucking love that word. It's a good comedy <laughs> word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've used it in England, and I've had people go like, you're ableist, you yeah. said that word. And I'm like, yeah, but I said it. About me and like myself, still yeah. you're being ableist yeah. <laughs> to Even yourself. Like, like you see it with like with there is like trigger words in it. Like when some people if someone say trans on stage, yeah, and, and you feel everyone go, and yeah, like, yeah. You don't even know what he's gonna say yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let, like, let him say it first. Way, I've got a trans girlfriend and then go off on something else. Like, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. But everyone goes, oh no, <laughs> offensive. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Else, yeah. Give a minute, yeah. will you? And L- London, I think, is the worst for that. Yeah. They're almost like their own little like like little micro economy of mm. people. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, no, neither do I. <laughs> no. I've, had, I've had some good ones in London, but it's probably the, the biggest minefield to gig in. I don't really do, like, I don't do the clubs there or anything like that because yeah. well, I don't live there. Mm. Um, I'm, And the tour show is kind of people who, I guess, are already into your stuff, so yeah. you don't really get a sense yeah. of it. I'm more basing on clips I see and that kind of thing, but it definitely seems to be more of like a culturally sensitive place yeah, whereas yeah, you come here and people are like I just fucking make me laugh just do your yeah, stuff yeah. you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, go- I'm t- trying to plan a little London trip next year and I'm, I don't know what it's going to be like because I've never I've never gigged in London yeah. so I don't know like what how they're going to take me even just being from Liverpool the yeah, yeah, half yeah. the people probably go oh, fucking hell yeah, yeah, yeah I hate this guy already <laughs> like here like like Liverpool especially and I think Liverpool and back home are the two best comedy scenes Anywhere at the mm. moment, mm. maybe not like the states because I don't I don't know enough about yeah, it. There. Yeah, but certainly in the UK and Ireland, yeah, it's getting yeah. like Never the northwest is getting massive now. Like yeah. Manchester as well, so we've got a real good yeah, scene, yeah. and every, all the podcasts are starting around there and that. And there's like, uh, like in the northwest, like um, in the UK, stand up comedy chart, yeah, like the top five, four of them were northwest. Sure, yeah, yeah. and it's just like something's happening here. And I like, think as well, some some like. You seem to, everyone seems to support each other here. Mm. Maybe I'm picking that up wrong, but like mm. podcasting comedians yeah. well, seem to be a people, genuine scene. Some people don't support each other. Who? And they, bitch, they bitch. haven't people made know. it into the charts. <laughs> right, so right, right. Yeah, that's yeah, how, yeah. It, how it goes. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So you do, it's beneficial to fucking build each other up and build a community because yeah. you all but help think, each other. I think that's come from the States though. Yeah, because like, that's what they're like. Rogan and... Um, it was it's all them podcasts. They all go on one another's and yeah. boost each other and that because they realise that there's enough for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's quite new over here still. Yeah. I think a lot of people are still in that mentality of like, 
No. You can't but, have but, uh, our listeners, yeah. uh, whatever, you know, that's yeah. shit. People only listen to one thing yeah, like at a time ever. Yeah. Like just people are looking for stuff to just fill the day. Like, yeah. 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 People, like, I, I used to blast through like three podcasts a day. Right. And be yeah. like, I, especially like long drives or going to work. Yeah. And coming yeah, back from work and that. yeah. Yeah. Like, there wasn't enough podcasts to listen yeah, to. Yeah. Same. I just listen to Diva's playlist now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, hugely into that genre. Wow. See, just like the uplifting, like a good bit of Celine Dion. Yeah. Whitney, yeah, yeah. all Go that for the soul, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah right. so he listens to. I listen to Dream all Girl soundtrack. sorts, <laughs> me. But my go-to's is either cocaine rap or it's death really metal. It's really ever. It's so ever, right. and I have to like counteract. But with it relaxes a bit of five me though. Or something. Uh, uh, the music I listen to, like cocaine rap, <laughs> uh, Griselda, Freddie Gibbs, uh, I do like Freddie Rome Gibbs. Streets. It's all about it's all ex like cocaine dealers. Oh, oh, got that. Who've <laughs> who've got into the rap game now? So they're all just tell the a lot, you, lot of gun bars. I'm a big hip hop guy, and the only one I knew was Freddie Gibbs. There. Freddie Gibbs. I yeah. thought I was a big hip hop guy. You could yeah. use my playlists on Spotify in the body shop, <laughs> like all over the over the PA system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might not be the body shop, but where you go to like chop cars <laughs> up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when, when your ma goes on a night out, your playlist is what's getting played. Hundred percent. I do I, like hip hop and all that. But, but I like all that type of music. Yeah. I, just in my head, it's never just a go to. Right, like, right, right. But if it's on, I, like, because I'd done uh, like music tech in school and, uh, and music um, GCSE and that. So I had to <clears throat> study a lot of music. So even like classical music and that, I like listening yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I just never sit there and go, oh, I'm going to put Celine Dion on. <laughs> just, no joke. Taylor Swift's new album. Yeah. Mm. Is my dad one of the best albums ever? My dad was like that. Taylor Swift's fucking class. She's, unbelievable. She's built different, Taylor. Like yep. she's just been releasing albums <laughs> consistently since yep. she was a kid. I have a little sister who adores her, so I'm sick to the fucking back teeth of I, Taylor I Swift. Because yeah. you don't even get the song; you get the background to the song <laughs> and what the boyfriend did and why James <laughs> Allen Hall's evil. And she's sitting there and just watching the open, going, "He's an evil bastard." Him and I'm like. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Between her and Harry Styles, happily would never hear about them again. <laughs> <laughs> happily. Yeah, it was mad. My dad, like, he's like 60 odd now. 60, maybe 61. Used to be like a proper football hooligan fella. And right. That. And he's like, you read that new Taylor Swift song? <laughs> <laughs> but he's got such an eclectic music taste. Yeah, yeah, he's just yeah. like, that's a fucking boss song now. I'm like, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Taylor Swift. It's cute, well, isn't it? Speaking of cocaine. Drugs, guys. Oh, yeah. So we already. How much already I look like? I look like. An undercover guy who would get caught <laughs> so quick. So we've established that you're, you're a bit of a, uh, what was the word you used before? Quite bit, an innocent. Bit sheltered, in, innocent. Quite, I, I, yeah, quite an innocent guy. Yeah. Have you, have you, have you, you said cocaine, see how fast I shot up. I was like, mm-hmm, I'm <laughs> Bad boy face, yeah. see, whenever I was 14, I dyed my fringe. My mate Michael did it. Ooh. Dyed my fringe, peroxide blonde, just a fringe. When yeah. I lived in Ireland. Did you live in Ireland? Yeah, for four years, Roscommon and Leitrim. Um, yeah, all the lads was bleach blonde in the air, and yeah. I, like all of them. See, that's everyone. what every that exactly that's what everyone was doing. Yeah, I was just in the fringe. Okay. Was that anything to do with Jedwood? No, oh. this is way <laughs> pre Jedwood. Oh, okay. Hated, <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. yeah. They were like, more liked over in England than uh, yeah. people in Ireland hated them. It's mad how like political Jedwood are now. That's so Have you strange. seen them on on Twitter? <laughs> but they they like they're the ones making the most sane points. Sometimes you go I'm fucking side with Jedwood, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's mad. Yeah. It's weird. But anyway, sorry. Everyone had bleach blonde hair in yeah, Ireland. It was a mad you? time. It was Frosted a mad time. tips. Bad yeah. boy face. Abs- I mean, I probably thought I did at the time. Yeah. What mm. was the most bad boy thing you think you've ever done? Like naughtiest thing. I'm the sort done? of guy who like I like finding out people's I would tell you, things. I would tell you like I should be at school today and I'm like we would call it being on the beak. Probably a different being true, whatever you want being to call it. Being on the beak's cocaine, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, you know, by like skipping school. Right. But it would be an exceptional closure day anyway. You know what <laughs> okay. I mean? Like, that's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But I, like, no. Nah. What, this guy. Is that because he paid and so, so or no, you just never... I just had, I, I just never had an interest never in went it. down I, like, road, I, yeah. I, I was, comp- I was a complete in-betweener. Like, I was definitely not a goody two-shoes. I would have been, like, a yeah. bit of a messer in school. But, like, I kind of... I, I didn't know where the line was, and I'd have said that as a child. Yeah, Guys, yeah, yeah. there's a line here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. like, okay, I say yeah. that at parties as well. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, there's, there's a line here. in there. Oh, no, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're it's, a bit more into, the, into your drugs and that, yeah? Yeah. Wild. Yeah. 
Wild. I'm not. I'm not. I'm wild compared to. I'm not that wild. When we met, I was like, it was like Mr. Miyagi and the Karate Kid. I was <laughs> yeah. bringing him around to my house and all. I was like, come on, relax. <laughs> yeah. clean this fence. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We we started hanging about when I was really in the drugs. Yeah. Because I got a student house in uni, mm. and it was essentially a fucking like crack, crack den, den for yeah, lack yeah, of yeah. a better. And I knew it was bad when people you come around house and be like, come to our party, and people wouldn't be like, oh, this is awesome. They come around and be like, ugh. The fuck's going on in here? Because yeah. this room, this house was so big, I don't know how the fuck we got it. Because only three people lived in it, but you had a. That was mad the way you done three then. I, I can't move. Hard. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. oh shit! Yeah, I forgot about that. Like that. Oh, I was able. <laughs> sorry, I liked it though. Yeah. <laughs> so there'd be a front room which was all carpet and sofas yeah. and and blankets, very comfy. So you'd smoke some weed and you'd sit in that room. Mm. And then there was an open plan living room that led into the kitchen that led into the back garden that had a garage. So the open plan living room is where you drink. Yeah. Then out the back would be where you'd smoke the weed before you went in the living room. And then in the garage, we had a DJ deck and a smoke machine. <laughs> Is this a student house or Takeshi's castle? Why is there so many levels to it? <laughs> yeah. 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 The big boulders coming at you. You had to jump in through set, stepping stones to get into the garage. Every time you, every time you see, if you did a line of cat, a Japanese guy would come out and be like, oh, wow. <laughs> Craig Charles is narrating it for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also DJing, because that's what he's into <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> so the garage I really went into, because I was a weed guy, mm. and that garage, if you didn't go into it all night, I could only equate it to the scene in Peep Show where Super Hands is having the New Year's party. Right, okay. And yeah. they're like, oh, what's going on in there? And they go in for two minutes and come out and be like, do not fucking go into that. <laughs> yeah. It was depravity you just yeah. have all, people on all sorts of substances mm. just losing their fucking minds i rarely went into the garage it okay. scared me so you just bit more of a weird one not what one of us oh no I, 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 I've, I've done everything right essentially okay. but yeah, i'm yeah. I, I preferred weed mm. do you know what mm. i mean i've only done weed and sativa i did take sativa when i was with 16 see that's mad because that's like spice in it that's yeah. like, even it? i wouldn't touch yeah, spice yeah. Right. I, I haven't i haven't done um Sativa. So my mate billed this to me as it's legal. It's it's is it salvia? Salvia, sorry, salvia. Sativa is a, a strain of weed. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, right, I don't know salvia, so. salvia. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, this is legal. So I was like, yeah. Oh well, then yeah, like she's like, I'm sweet. So I was mm. like, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. And we it was a summer's night. And we sat in his uh, in his garden, with Michael, who yeah, yeah, yeah. Now like works like producing my podcast. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, it's when we're like sixteen back in our hometown and we were sitting in his garden took it can't remember whether we smoked it or you might probably smoked it probably yeah. smoked it um and we're sitting and it, one of those ones were like because i didn't know anything about it after like 30 seconds i was like drugs don't work on me mm. i was like i'm completely <laughs> with it yeah 30 seconds <laughs> in. i was like it's, this is totally fine and then he was sitting facing me even closer from me or you yeah and then i looked away for like a split second looked back and was like Shouting to him, I was like, "Why are you there?" And he's like, "I'm here." And I was like, "You're not. You're there." Like I thought this guy was a mile in the distance, and I was concerned for him. And then all of a sudden, I can still remember it. It was like woof, he just appeared back. Mm. It's like he transported all the way back. Wow! And I phoned my dad to come and pick me up, and uh, I thought it at all. <laughs> Because I thought it worn off. I was going home anyway, right? So I was like, "Can you give me a lift home?" I thought this kind of worn off, and I'd be honest, I just wanted to get to bed. Yeah. Mm. And my dad was like, "Good night." No, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, good night." And we drove through like the town. I live in quite a small town called Hollywood. And outside a bar, I saw me. You live in dancing. Hollywood. It's yeah, in Northern it's, Ireland. It's it's in County Downs, population seven thousand, and it's the original Hollywood. That's wow. Mad. And I we were driving home. My dad was like, "Good night." I was like, "Yeah, yeah," just passing all the bars and stuff. And I saw me dancing <laughs> outside a bar <laughs> as we stopped at lights. I was like, "Fuck." I'm out there too. I just in my head, it was me, yeah. and I'm and I'm like having a great time. And I remember looking at myself, fucking cut that. And we, my dad, was like, you all right? I was like, yeah, yeah. Got home, and uh, I thought I got away with it, and I uh, was going up to bed, and I was like, I freaked out. I was like, da, you know what? And I was like, gonna have to get back in the car. He's like, you all right? I was like, we need to go and pick me up. And he goes, <laughs> the fuck you talking about? I was like, he goes, you're here, and I was like, I know. But I'm outside. I'm out. I'm outside the bar too. Um, uh, it was called Wine and Company at the time, and uh, and I think he, th I think he thought it was that mad that I wasn't. You know, he was like, 
Just taking the piss, is it? Just taking the piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, and I don't think I wouldn't have gotten that much trouble for it, but um, I remember enjoying the experience, but like mm. never wanting to really do it again. Yeah. And then mm. weed, I'm very, very, very occasional with. I love it because it is a novelty yeah. for me, yeah. right, but yeah, I just yeah. never like driving the gigs. You can't do anything when you're driving. Yeah. And, I, and having kids now, I just never have t- an opportunity. That's better than my most horrendous experience with drugs. That's. Did I ever tell you? I don't know if I've ever told you a story. I once took an E before going on stage oh, by no. mistake. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. By mistake. Didn't. So we were going to a big rave yeah. in Mandela Hall, and I would forgot I booked a show. Mm. So it was like half eight, and we were going to be at this rave for nine, so I like took my pill, got ready to go. And I got a phone call from the promoter being like, are you coming to this show? <laughs> <laughs> You're on stage in 10 minutes. Yeah. So I was like, Where was the gig? It was somewhere in the Lisburn Road. I can't remember oh, where it I was. Oh, know. I, I, it, I know the place you're talking about. It changed names yes. loads of times. Yeah. I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, that was in there. Right. So I was like, fuck it. I live on the Lisburn Road. It's a fucking five-minute taxi. Mm. I think if I can get on stage and get off before the pill kicks in. Why, how long does that take? The kick pelvic in. kick in, it depends. It can take about an hour. Right. Oh, so I was like, right, I'll get, I'll get in. Now. Tons of you've eaten and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had eaten. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look at me, I've eaten. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, right, plenty of time. I'll be in now, and I'll get to the the rave before before it fucking kicks in. So I get there thinking I'm opening, mm. and the guy goes, <laughs> "No, you're you're headlining." Oh shit! Oh no! So I have to sit there. <laughs> And it doesn't kick in. I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And the gig goes on. And then I'm literally, I'm on stage and I'm doing a bit of crowd work. I'm like, what's your name? And in that moment, it kicked in. Oh, fuck. So I'm literally going, like, oh, what are you, workers? <laughs> <laughs> that's tr- that's tr- fine. That's, that's very interesting. <laughs> and fucking hard to do this 20 minute set, yeah. which in my mind, I murdered. I never saw footage from the show. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. No, I was just looking fucking oh, insane. Would have been like, to have that. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. The is anxiety that... was horrendous. Yeah. Is uh, it an urban myth or is it much of not a drug guy I am? Does your jaw do that because there's rat poison in it? Uh, I don't know why Why your no, jaw does that. I, I don't know. I, th- I don't know. Edit that. There, it, does, <laughs> it does give your muscles spasticity, <laughs> but I don't know why. Right. I do not know yeah, why. Yeah. Yeah, Ketamine's the reverse. Ketamine will reverse your muscles. Why don't you just get on the ket then? Um, I, I have many a time. Uh, me on ket is the most flexible I'll ever be. <laughs> it used to good Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, all, yeah 100%. It, like, see me on ket, I look like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka after, <laughs> after she gets out. <laughs> and she's just flipping. And I'm also purple because I'm not breathing. <laughs> Cat used to be used to treat cerebral palsy. They used to inject it in the people's oh, really, cerebral yeah. palsy's muscles ah, right, to help yeah. treat it. Yeah. I don't know why they stopped it. Yeah, they should bring back drugs. They've, start, they've started using <laughs> it for like <laughs> depression and that, haven't they? PTSD, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in, like and intravenous that. ketamine and that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You have to get the doses right. You're, you know, you'll get one if you if you get the right amount. You're having a great time. Yeah, the wrong amount of cat. Just when you're on not, when you're it? on drugs, you can think you're on a nice amount, but you're actually not. Yeah. Like I did loads of mushrooms for have a word special, the restaurant special. Yeah. And I thought I was fine, and then I've saw the the footage, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm so high. So what <laughs> like is my that? eyes are pinging. So I know what weed does to you. Yeah. I've seen what coke does. I've seen what ecstasy does. Mm. But what is what does mushrooms do? So it's it just makes you dead happy, dead giggly. I, I Depends like on the dosage, it. though, innit? Yeah. yeah. Like. So, and it can help with confidence as well. It's really good for like trauma, like healing trauma. Good for ADHD. Like, there's loads of stuff which it needs. Fucking, like, yeah. It, it, it would help if it would be if it could be prescribed for people. Yeah. Because you know, like antidepressants and that. But if you start going bigger with your doses. You start going on like trips and that, and everyone yeah. starts wobbling Walls start and start getting yeah, wavy. Yeah. And colors look amazing as well. The best thing to do if you're you ever take shrooms is sit inside for a while and then open the blinds. Yeah, <laughs> because outside is looks it? fucking incredible. <laughs> it, yeah. So sit yeah. in the dark room for a bit and then open a window. Yeah, no, we go like Holy just walking the chippy on mushrooms and it's yeah. it's beautiful. <laughs> I went and got cash out at the cash machine on mushrooms and then fist bumped the cash machine. <laughs> <laughs> it, the money come out and I went nice one. That. I, I, wa- wa- oh, I, I got away with it and it was me going. Uh, cheers <laughs> for that. Uh, I once watched Dickinson's Real Deal. 
on mushrooms. I bet you he looks mad. That's what they're for. Yeah. Yeah. The cunt was hotter than yeah. the sun. He was like coming out of the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking insane. I we thought you meant like sexy. You're like, Whoa. Uh, the Duke. <laughs> Oh, he's getting a bargain here, yes, Jackson. <laughs> it's mad what it does because, like, we watched the it's for light. we watched the Have a Word with Jamie Hutchinson on. Yeah, he, he was dressed in all good. black, right. and every time it cut back to him, I was like, his head's getting bigger. Yeah, it just so every time it cut back to him, his head was just a little bit bigger, and I was like, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Mushrooms, mate, you just want to touch people as well. Like, right. I started feeding people in the restaurant. No, like, it was, wasn't meant to do that. Right, meant right, to right. deliver plates. That was yeah. it. <laughs> I've fed people. <laughs> right, right, right. See, yeah. that seems like fun. Like it doesn't seem oh, to be like a downside to that. No, um, it's if you fun. take too much though, right? You know, like if you took like five grams, right. like some people are like, oh, I thought I was dying. Yeah, because you like blast off into the fucking but another a lot dimension. Of your bad it, it comes from stuff Resistant that you need to that work well. on inside. Like it highlights any demons that you've got. Right. Yeah, Whereas I've, I've like worked, that. I've already been down there and so I'm fine. I don't want to know what demons Mushrooms are. Okay. are fun if you have the ability to tell your brain. It's, it's, it's just playing tricks on you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if when you're you having have a dream and you're going, don't worry, this is a dream. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Lucid can I, dream. Can there. I tell you, I, I need to check whether like I can include this story, right? Okay. Um, My auntie was using... um cannabis oil mm. for cancer and there was loads left and um my cousin said to my dad uh my dad used to be a motorbike racer a couple of horrific injuries so his body's always sore really right. my cousin was like you should you know take that and if you fancy giving it a go give it a go so my dad said i might do guys never done drugs in his life mm. ever not anti-drugs would never look down on it just a bit like myself just no real interest yeah, in it yeah um so I think one night he was he's 72, like one night he was just bored in the house, this was a couple of years ago, and uh, took it. What happened was, I hadn't heard from him a couple of days, and I went my to get my mate to pick up something at my house, a pair of football boots or something. Yeah. Mm. And my mate said, God, like your dad, what's wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. My dad, the cannabis oil was for like a two-week supply or something. Yeah. Old Dennis has just binned it. So he didn't know. In one go? Yeah. He was in Shit. bed for three days. Yeah, yeah. yeah my dad's the first that. guy <laughs> who's nearly died of a weed overdose. Like, yeah. my dad would have fucked it. Because, you know, what weed users are like, well, like, you can't overdose on us. My yeah. dad nearly fucked that whole thing for everyone. Yeah. That's my dad's still recovering, and that was in 2019. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly died. Like, he said, he said, he said when he went to sleep, and, like, obviously, like, you know, the cannabis oil, like, it's going to calm you down and all yeah. that kind of thing. My dad says he was in bed, and he said, <laughs> he said his heartbeat was that loud. That he had, to, he felt like he needed to go and apologise to the neighbours. <laughs> He's like, that's probably keeping them up too. <laughs> so Dennis, that, like, so that on. the uh, thing with edibles is like, uh, no one's ever died from too much of it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just feel like you might die. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. overdosed. We had a big one. Yeah, but like you threw up. I was sick up, three times, but you didn't die. Of is this, a, is this weed mean? edibles? Yeah. Yeah. Because right. I just. I, I've got no control, and I, I know that Joey Diaz goes hard, and I was like, I want to be like Joey. So right. I had his level of edible and right. was sick three times. But like what I found with Is it was... The, the Death Star? Yeah, well, yeah. Like, how, how much? 250 each to be It was a, a 250. We had, the fi we had a 500 milligram milkshake. Right. We, we split it. So we had like 250 each. each. And usually you can have like 50 milligrams and feel high as fuck. Yeah. So I like I felt it kicking in like after about 10 minutes. I was like, ah, oh, no, this isn't... What What I find with edibles is you like you reach a wave... It's like going on a roller coaster. You're going up and you're like, oh, fucking panicking. And then you get over it and you're like, oh, sound. But obviously, the stronger they are, the bigger that fucking wave yeah. is. Yeah. But I had like, I was getting like visuals off of it because I was that high. Right. You know, like stuff was waving like yeah, mushrooms yeah, yeah. and that. So, like, you can go fucking. And if you've never I, had it before no, and you have that much, I, like. I like to just feel a, a bit giddy. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Just like the giggles. That's perfect for me. I don't need to, like, I'm a very relaxed person. Like, yeah. so I don't yeah. need to relax anymore. Mushrooms be great. But uh, with the uh, edible ones, um, I was watching boxing. Yeah. It was a Joshua fight, and I had a can of Coke sitting down by my side, and I started to get fits of giggles, and everyone's like, what are you laughing at? And I, you know something so funny you can't get it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is a Coke can, right? And everyone's like, yeah. And I went, but it took me like 20 minutes to say it, but I was like, that's a Coke can, <laughs> and we're watching boxing, and there's a boxer called Amir Khan. And I was like, 
why does no one understand how funny that is? <laughs> yeah. I was like, look at this link. And I mean, Amir Khan wasn't can. on the bill of the fight. Yeah. I was like, this is beyond funny. I was like, I, I'm going to do a bit about that. <laughs> I was like, you be? No, 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 never. I always have, I have always have ideas when I'm high and I look back and I'm like, what the, yeah, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, fuck am I talking about? about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Funny, I had a similar experience watching McGregor fight. Well, I'll say similar. I was smoking joints, but there was, like everyone was partying at the same time. So the tobacco was on the kitchen table. Mm. So there's like a hardcore party going on in the kitchen while I'm in the living room watching McGregor fight. It's going in to roll joints. Yeah. Smoke it and then go in. Eventually I started feeling like, what the fuck is wrong? I feel like really pumped up. I thought it was just enjoying the McGregor fight. I'm really excited. I'm getting really into this fight, but I'm yeah. only smoking weed. And then someone came in and went, what the fuck is up with your eyes? And my eyes were like that. Yeah. So we what? Had, guys. What had happened? <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> what had happened was they people were doing lines of coke. Oh shit! And someone had spilt it into my tobacco. And you were just smoking. So I was essentially rude. smoking crack. I thought I was smoking <laughs> joints. <laughs> and like I thought I was like being all chilled in the living room, and they came in. And I'm sitting with like a blanket around me, being like, "Fuck, McGregor." <laughs> McGregor would have been looking at you like this guy needs to be chilling. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this one a week quiet one, and I'm smoking crack. I was oh, up for two days. Funny, yeah. Oh my god, that's mad. Yeah, we'll open this. We got a we got sent a little package. It's very like Green very Angel. official package. Very official. Do you go over? The oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. The this Grinch. That? It's the Grinch. This is our dealer. This um, is this is how how the levels of like where it's getting now. Like if it, it was legal, so weird, like it'd yeah. be so so this so isn't legal. Good. I'll be reporting this. To the police. This is okay. legal. I'll be reporting this. <laughs> it's very to legal. The Met Police. Are they the police here? I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, we've done. I mean, the police are probably already watching this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got in trouble with Netflix the other day. What? Telling yeah. people. Where you can get Gary's. <laughs> <laughs> so we had someone on who's, go, who's, who's going to be on the next season of Sex Education. Right. And obviously we were just chatting and they were t- just telling us stories from the past and that. Yeah. And the next Sorry, thing they send us a telecast. finger and, oh, uh, you're going to have to cut all this stuff out. Like, even saying, like, they used to work at Mackey's and they used to put fucking, they were like, oh, I fucking spike your milkshake with anthrax. <laughs> and I went, I obviously never done that. And they were like, you need to cut that out. <laughs> But obviously, they never fucking nothing worse. Spike some of anthrax, otherwise worse. you would have known about it. And you was the episode have already it. out? No, it's not out yet. Oh, that's oh, okay. oh the episode no, was out. Sorry, I hate that top tier, top tier Look fucking this. packages. This is, yeah, so Green Angel, they they just do everything proper extra. So this is Christmas Heavy special box, well. in it. Yeah, Let's see what's inside. You can have some as well. So do. We you having cerebral palsy? Do you find weed helps with that or? Yeah, yeah, yeah it helps with really, yeah. like pain. Mm. Uh, I have particularly bad inflammation in my knees. Yeah, and I can get really stiff, particularly in the winter. Yeah, and so, it's an anti So weed does yeah. help. So does crack. But don't weirdly, do when that. I smoke, <laughs> weirdly when I smoke weed, I get cerebral palsy. <laughs> 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 this is a, a box off a dealer, guys. There's Christmas it's, cards in there. What's a mark up here? Because this guy's spending so much on this yeah. merch on the postage and package. So should we give My one of these? My dealer gives me a fucking Do you want to open, open one of these yeah. between you? <laughs> See how it is. I don't What's even know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Um, do you want to open that while I'm exploring? I'll open this one, yeah. So it's exciting <laughs> stuff. Go ahead. So this might be another uh, another Christmas scratch card. Okay. Hate, 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 double hate, loathe entirely, the Grinch. Do we coin on your bro? Yes, son, I'll give you a coin. Thank you. So the prizes to be won are a fifty pound voucher, a hundred pound voucher, a bag of. Sorry, this is a dealer. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is this fucking is mental. Green Angel. Yeah. Uh, or pre rolls with an extra extra diamond with it. So we've got uh, we've got Grinch lollipops. Oh, we've got. Oh, look at that package, oh man. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> caramels. There are businesses run with less professionals. No, I'll say this. See the way you say caramels. Yeah. yeah. So there was a stand-up who years ago um, was was always had weed, always was able to get weed, and yeah, about ten years ago, I was going Donegal or somewhere, just yeah. dri- driving for a, a holiday, and I said, "Get me, get, get me a bit of weed there." And he said, "Yeah, what do you want?" And I was like, "Just edibles." And he goes, "Get some chocolate." Now I have food allergies, mm. right? So here's how much I'm not a drug guy I am. Scratch this, sir. It's I a little sticker. Sorry. Here, I, <laughs> here forever, I'm talking there. about. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, who yeah. I'm talking about, right? So I said to that guy, I was like, "Yeah, yeah get me stuff." And then as he was going to meet the dealer, yeah. I uh, Facebook messaged him and was like, "Ask him if there's gluten in it." And he's like, oh, "I'm not asking the dealer if there's <laughs> gluten in it." Uh, he's gluten free, yeah. And he goes, and then, he, and then he was like, 
well, it's just chocolate, so there's going to be no gluten in it. And I was like, I can't have dairy. He goes, this isn't for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah, whole yeah, game yeah. isn't for you. <laughs> yeah. So I've, I've won a, uh, a bag of diamonds with my scratch card. Oh, nice. Ooh. I want fuck go. all. What? Nothing at all. You must have won something. Well, what's the bauble next to on the thing? That's what would you like? I'll I'll give you something. Oh no no! I'm, I'm oh, you've took the two stickers off. Oh yeah yeah, I have given me. Ah, William. So oh, there no, was there hand. was there was a shiny sticker over a, another sticker. So you, what you've done is took both the stickers off and lost your prize. I won two thousand pound. <laughs> <laughs> is this a? Whatever it is you've given us to take, William will take mine as well, and then you have to do the gig. All in once. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I will not wake up. To, I can't fuck, fuck it. We'll never know. Holiday. So, yeah, these are these like strength charts and everything, man. Like, Holy shit. It's just oh, a level it good? of isn't professionalism yeah, yeah. from this dealer is mental. It's, uh, yeah, it. that's why we're like so passionate yeah. about them. Oh, um, so that's, that's why it smells weird. So there's, we've got three uh, giants. Three pre-rolls there. So this yeah. is the, the caramel stuff. This is more that'll like chill you out, which is ind, ind, indigo? Uh, I, th- I don't know what they, they, they only use one strain. So uh, orange whatever sherbet. orange sherbet is. Right. Mm-hmm. But all, I think all edibles will chill you out really. Oh, okay. Because yeah. they, cause they hit stronger. So we've got three caramels. We've got three gummies. We've got two lollipops, three spliffs. We've got THC, THC syrup. syrup. Put that in your drink. Yeah. <laughs> if then, you want. And then this. What's in that box? A mug. THC syrup and waffles. <laughs> this is what? A mug <laughs> to drink your THC syrup. Oh, he's right. That's Why isn't the guy getting them printed up? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this, this, is, this is the Christmas. <laughs> I think, yeah. What mad. a service. Sick. So if you That's want it, let us know. We'll sort it's you out. Your like you got a box for him. He's like, hang on, I'm out of confetti, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah. I've no rated. mugs, mate. I've no mugs. Yeah. I have a salad bowl here for you. If you want that. <laughs> so there you go, Green Angel, smashing it again. Do you want it? What's your diamond? Do you want anything? I'll, I'll take. I'll some. Whatever. Just I'll take whatever. Do you want edibles? Do you want it? Jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jellies. And okay. I'm okay because I'm going to heaven. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna there find you go. me in my. <laughs> you're gonna find me in my hotel room listening to Flatbush Zombies later. <laughs> Do you want one of these as well? No, no. I'll be, I'll be. You sure? Yeah, what's that? Yeah, pre roll No, no, I'm all good because I will smoke it and have a show to do tonight. Uh, and yeah. I can't. They, they're good then, man. Yeah. Good edibles, I yeah. might take them for a bit. Nice. So you're allergic to everything? Dairy and gluten. Gluten's a preference. Dairy's an allergy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wee bit. Like, <laughs> I love this one. I'm not being like, I actually at least smoke crack and drop pills. <laughs> and you're like, it has to be soy milk or I get a sore tummy. Almond. Almond, sorry. Can't even have soy either. I can't have soy. Yeah. I choose not to. Oh, okay. soy shit. If you don't uh, have almond milk, yeah. you have to get your dad to pick. If it. you're a boy and you have soy, it gives you tits, <laughs> and that's science. I'm, I'm, soy I'm, I've had a lot of soy in my life. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm allergic to alcohol. That's Actually. a bad one, isn't it? Actually, what? Um, yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, but I'd probably probably be dead if see I, I couldn't. See, I'd say couldn't weed drink. is way better than alcohol. Yeah. It is way better. That's why I'm really pushing for it. Because I really want it to be legal. You want so on draft? Zero yes. deaths from uh, from weed, I don't think. I don't yeah. think there's been... There might My have dad been was one, close. But that's <laughs> all like synthetic stuff. Right, oh, right. You yeah, get yeah. people making these edibles and that and they're using synthetic weed. And I think that's like, kind of like, you're putting salvia into weed edibles and then them thinking, oh, this is just normal weed. It's, it's, it's why I never vape that pure THC <clears throat> stuff because that, that can be really it, bad for it because yeah, people yeah. are just fucking... <clears throat> I remember once someone had... You can get them vape carts, can't you, with the with the seed, with the weed oil in it, and it was garlic and herb flavour. What? And I was like, this is the <laughs> maddest thing I've Who's ever tasted. Who's running about hitting a savoury vape? Honestly, it was mad. Probably Green Angel. It was so <laughs> mad. It was. I was just like, this is strange to smoke, Bergen. like. Artichoke and caper vape. <laughs> what are people doing these days? <laughs> it's fucking uh, disgusting. But anyway, Green Angels, yeah. shout out to them. Yeah, um, that's great. Boxes available. On a pork and fennel vape. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we got some. Uh, we have some staple questions that we asked. Yeah, what are um, What we have most proud and oh. shameful moments. Well, we'll do. What's your addiction? Whilst we're on our addiction. So, have you got an actual addiction? Yeah, um, yeah this everyone. isn't fun when it comes to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, can, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be anything heavy. Like, it's um, fuck. 
actual diagnosed addiction, alcohol and fucking cocaine. Fun okay. addiction, crisps. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped doing flavor. I uh, something vinegar. I stopped doing Ooh, cocaine nice. quicker than I stopped eating crisps. <laughs> <laughs> you were spending more on crisps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but know the bad thing about me doing loads of cocaine. The way people do cocaine and lose weight. Nah, not not this guy. I, I I'm like Matthew Perry. Uh, yeah. Like the more coke I do, the more I'm just like Chandler in season yeah. eight. Like, <laughs> like I don't have any like diagnosed addictions, but honestly, activities. Yeah. <laughs> what you what mean? Huh? What, what type of activities? You name it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> like, here's what I couldn't do. Say the four of us went away on a trip. Yeah. Where where hypothetically where are we? Lake District. But, go on, yeah. We and I go, well, go well, guys, what's a plan? Now it's about 8 a.m. I go, yeah. well, guys, what's a plan? And you well, all go, this. and you guys go, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And we're home. Uh, no, I'm the same as you, divities. but at like 10 a.m., not 8 a.m. I like her, see what happens, me. At 8. We've, I'm a, see, see for something, but you don't tell me, I have to do it, because I won't do it. Uh, see, by 10, okay. we've played badminton, we've gone whitewater rafting. And we're just about to watch a screen the James and the Giant page. See, I, I'm happy. I'm happy to partake in the activities. Good, but I'm not a. I'm not a planner. I'm mm. a. I'm a very much a I'm lazy a river of life worry, kind of guy. It's all provided. I'll plan it. Nice. Okay. Don't worry about it. But you as long as there's activities, to do I need something to do. Uh, okay. I don't have yeah. ADHD. It's nothing like that. I just like to do. I like to know what the plan so is. You never I go like on holiday and just chill. Don't do nothing. Yeah, I can. I can do that. But, they, but here's why I'm annoying. I'll go. Let's just do nothing. And I'll spend so much time setting up doing nothing. Mm. Let me just get, oh, maybe maybe I want to eat can of Coke for have a nap <laughs> for when I wake up. And <laughs> I put this, let me move the chair. I never actually end up just, it's like by the time I do this, I go, all right, let's go. Time for badminton. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can't Fucking have, I can't have baths because I'm like, right, got to get out now. <laughs> I had a bath last night for the first time in about four years. Yeah. yeah. And it blew my mind. It was brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, the, brilliant. The, I, but I just think like you spend so much time running it and all that, innit? and then by the time you get ready to get in, you I'm bored now. My, it was already it was my son's bathwater. I just mm. topped it up. Oh, okay, fair I, enough. I can't get over you getting your mind blown by a bath. <laughs> oh, mate, we were like we've had psychedelic experiences. We've seen things on mushrooms, and you're like radox, mate. Yeah. I, I dropped half. <laughs> I dropped half. I dropped half a pint of mary in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate, you just dropped the full bath bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it to kick in. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, he spent the score he's and double wash. dropping off. Fun. <laughs> See some bath salts and that. Uh, that's funny, though. Yeah. Okay, no. I, no, no, no actual addiction. Like, booze, like. Not going to be an addictive bit. personality or not? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. See if I find, like, something I like to eat. Mm. I'll all, I've had the same breakfast every morning for about six years. Which is what? I don't really like to deviate it. Porridge. Many oats. I mean, like, what say milk? almond. <laughs> Many milk. oats. Say the, yeah, say the recommendations, like four scoops. Six, seven. And I don't mind saying that. Edit that out. Whoa. So <laughs> I'll, 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 I, I look at the dosage and go, yeah, right. So um, <laughs> so almond milk. Then I'll, I'll get that going in a pot, got my porridge pot. Mm. Then I'll stick in a load of frozen fruit. Now you're going, that doesn't sound too fresh. Frozen fruit is fresher than fresh fruit. You're a fruit and veg shop. How long has that been sitting there for? See, as soon as they pick the, fr the fruit, yeah. they freeze it. So that, that's going to stay fresh. Plus, it thaws out. Why are you so passionate about frozen In the cooking fruit? process. By the way, we're about a third of the way through this. Then <laughs> I, I let that well, simmer. Let it, I get tomorrow. it going. Cut a, cut a banana up. Don't put that banana in the pot. Okay. Put it in the bowl, but spread it out. So that's your base. Then when everything's cooked up and nice and bubbling, pour your porridge into the bowl. Get some almond butter. Oof, load of it, <laughs> mix all that up. <laughs> Nutritious, delicious, amazing breakfast could fill you up for hours and hours. I, like I did that once and went, This is my life now. Yeah. I'll have that every day to the point where now I'm on tour and I'm not getting that breakfast. It's, uh, it pisses me off and I'll chase it. That's the worst thing about it. I'm in Holland and Barrett buying like wee sachets, almond butter. I go to get the par, just not the one I like. I'm, I'm chopping up a banana in the island Tesco. It, it's I an addiction. I love the idea of you sitting in like an Alex meeting. And there's yeah. people being like, I lost my kids to hell. And then you're sitting there going, sometimes I was doing six, seven scoots of oats. <laughs> yeah. S sucking dicks for almond butter. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, oh, fucking hell. So it does sound like a nice porridge, though, to be I, fair. I have fuel. Right. Just put powder in a cup, some water. Frozen fruit, though. Just to make it cold. Frozen not berries. To get it now, I might be blowing a future collab, like ambassador deal with them, but it doesn't seem as like nutritious. 
I know oh, they'll be like no. it's got this and that and all, but I like the I like the workmanship of the of the porridge pot. I've not got time. You yeah. taste that hard work though. You know it's convenient, you know. Do you not get bored of it though? No, no, I never will ever in my life, yeah. and I know that now. Yeah, yeah. You, and that's you, mental that I know that. Are you the same at restaurants and that? I, I, I Nando's. 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 Only, we we only eat Nando's when you turn shame. It's only Nando's and same order every time. Yep, you could say to me, you could say to me, uh, my hypothetically, my brother is a Michelin starred chef, mm. and he has a place beside here, and he'll give you whatever you want for dinner. I'll go Nando's. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not like... I get it, though, because you, you know where you're standing. I know I'm going to like it. You know you're going to like it. It's going to be lovely. You know what you're ordering. I'll go wag... Don't get me wrong. Go wag a mama if I have to. All like. oh, right. Are you a missionary guy? Pardon? Are you a missionary guy? At Nando's? No, but I'm like... No, butterfly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I want I want you to order missionary chicken just to see their face. Just what if you get a full chicken? It's just whatever position they put yeah, it in yeah, on yeah. the. Can I get the chicken? What spice? Full missionary. <laughs> missionary. They put it on the back. It's like the secret menu. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like in, yeah. in Shake Shack and yeah. stuff. <laughs> you get sixty nine chicken. They put two oh, on. Can I, have the, can I have the doggy peri peri chips, please? As well. <laughs> <laughs> if he's oh. on that reverse girl go <laughs> buying apple slice. Oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be a fun, it'd be a fun menu, innit? To choose from, I think. Mm. I don't know. Are you? Have you? Are you guys like addicti- addictive people? Or I think because I, I very much am. I'm on I mushrooms am. right now. Are you fantastic? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm microdose. Now, when did you take it? This morning. Right, right. So will, that will last for how long? Um, a few hours, innit? Yeah, but I mean, pretty much all day. Just Serious? You don't yeah. have to top it up or? No, like it's it just uh, elevates you a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. Just to get you in the right mood, I guess. Sometimes you get your frozen mushrooms and it's refresher. Than <laughs> <laughs> Seven <laughs> scoops of human. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think I'm, I've got quite an addictive uh, personality, mm, but I didn't I, really realise until like, I was drinking. I used to smoke a lot of weed and then I stopped smoking the weed. So I was like, I need something to fill this. So then I started drinking loads and then I stopped drinking and then got back on the weed. Right. And then right. it was like, oh, I haven't had a beer at a gig. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a ciggy. Yeah. Instead. Right. Like I need right. something. I, I, yeah, I switch between <clears throat> addictions. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Around this, like, like the one time I had a good addiction was in lockdown. I couldn't get my hands on anything and just became really addicted to like fucking hip workouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's was quite in, good though. Man's on the Joe Wicks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Someone give me a link for Joe Wicks again. Then <laughs> you went like man's on the Joe Wicks, and then just thumped for some reason. <laughs> what can I say? I'm thinking about now, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I I need to constantly be obsessed with yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So I think my you. obsession is work in the in the daytime, so yeah. it keeps me off drugs. I'll just work, and right. then as soon as I finish work, I get on, on drugs. The drugs. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, I think my mom and dad were pretty good with, like. They weren't like go and do whatever you want, but I was given like loads of independence. Yeah. Mm. So I think because of that, nothing was ever like I didn't see anything as really forbidden. If if that makes sense, I wasn't right, like yeah, yeah. I shouldn't be doing this, and I, I didn't build it up as like when I hit seventeen, eighteen, or whatever. I wasn't like I can finally do this. I was like, yeah. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, I was always that's like, uh, yeah, given like nice freedom like that. Oh, that's good then. So that sort of might like show people like you know people do go into stuff. Because it's like, oh, it's forbidden. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. You're doing something wrong. Or, That's or, I always or the say first time like, to go to your student house, it's like, fuck, I've never been able to do this. Yeah. But no one, you know, now I can. Yeah, right. I've always uh, been trusted, kind yeah. of thing. I, that's what I feel about, like, drugs being legal. Like, people go, oh, well, all kids will start doing them and that. It's like, they're more likely to do them because they're illegal. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still, you could still go and do heroin, but they'll be doing it. But like, but they'll be doing it with more do knowledge you? and yeah, like, I, like be I, safer. Whatever you're getting, yeah. That. Like but when I went to Amsterdam, the guy was like, like, a, 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 like an engineer, yeah, describing yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, I was like, I'd never done this before. Like yeah. was the first time I'd done it. He was like, well, you might want to do this and make sure you do that. And I, mm. I recommend. So it was like this, a, a, a comfortable, yeah. sa- safe, like the ones in LA. Like one of yeah, the ones yeah. we went into, it's like it's like an Apple store. Yeah, like you well need that, to give your passport in, sat like register Toronto. with them, and yeah, look and, they, and then they have everything. And you go, what do you want? Do you want a little little giggly little? To yeah, show you everything and that. So, like, but that's 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 playing. Some people some people see that as like you know a challenge, like mm. this guy in Toronto. 
Why? What happened? Um, I, I didn't realize it would be so strong, so I went in, asked for the strongest fucking dose to have there, oh, not realizing it's like the Champions League of weed. Yeah, Amsterdam yeah, yeah, yeah. is not shit on Toronto. Yeah, well, LA was fucking str- I had like a 10 milligram edible. I was like, piss 10 milligrams. Yeah. And then I was like, fuck me, man, this is proper. Ended up Bill- front row at a comedy show after smoking a, a joint. Yeah. And was just freaking the fuck out, <laughs> gripping the table. Yeah. <laughs> But our, our upbringings were different. Like you, you wouldn't have had. You, know, you said like your parents wouldn't have done anything too wild. No, My dad sold it. weed. Like that right, was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's is Ireland. Should I say that on the podcast? Fuck yeah, 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 it. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. do it anymore, does he? I don't know. I don't speak to him. Oh, but uh, okay, he. There you go. Here's <laughs> how I found out. Is a cool fun guy. story, because uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. And then one day my parents were away, and I had the house to myself, mm. and I was doing what. Every 14 year old does. Bombing. When you have a free house, <laughs> you would do that, yeah. And then didn't of sorts, slapping it between two hands. I was, I was having a wine glass. Shuffle cock. Shuffle cock, yeah. <laughs> so I was sitting in the house, having a wine, and my living room door got kicked open. Fuck off. And in stepped a riot squad of peelers. Has that put you off wanking? Or does it give you like I some sort of king? I can come if she's in riot gear, that's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, I don't know who was more embarrassed. Oh, Mirror the Peelers? Oh, that would have been so funny. If, like, they they like think they're raiding this fucking drug then They go, yeah. what the fuck? Thinking they're ah, fighting El Chapo, it's just a wanking child. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to jail now? Yeah, I don't yeah. fucking... <laughs> just instantly arrest the guy. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, that's mad. So what happened there? Like... Well, the Did you think problem. you were getting busted for like watching porn or something? <laughs> <laughs> Doing five years for Babe Station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never touch the television next preview again. <laughs> Man gets sent down for Euro trash, yeah. uh, <laughs> and then Borstal. For- <laughs> yeah. What are you in for, murder? What are you in for, six Saturn? Six Saturn. Oh man, yeah, that must have been a crazy experience, though. <laughs> Like, I don't. How did you I, react when that happened? Came <laughs> <laughs> sort of like I didn't. Okay. People were like, "Did you freeze?" No, I jumped up and like, "Did you ever do that? You've been clearly caught wanking and you act like you weren't." But I've <laughs> never. I don't like. Well, as far as I know, I, don't, I haven't been caught. No, it might <laughs> so have I been like about, jumped up and didn't realize. Yeah, I like but. jumped up, put my dick away, and was like. Right, fellas? Hey, officers. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Just the way you say, you put it away like you went over to a cabinet. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever like- Unscrew it. Do you ever get a push pop and like flick it back? It's like you get at the end of a snooker match or the wee case. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. I just flicked it away like a wee fucking Swiss army knife. Like, so what did they say? Like when they busted in and you were just there having a wank, what did they do? They, the main guy literally okay. <laughs> opened the door, went, excuse me, and then went, oh, fuck, and closed the door again. That's a good, anyone who might get raided, just start wanking. Yeah. They might get away with it. They might flap it, shut the door, and then you can fuck off I don't the think window, it works then. if you're 27. <laughs> it might do, though. They'll just be like, they'd pull your fucking trousers Yeah, maybe. Up. Maybe it's because you're But uh, then they stepped out, and then they went, oh, is this blah, blah, blah? And, so, <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm me. And they were like, oh. Me. <laughs> like, they says this so-and-so's name. Yeah. And I was like, no, nah, no. Nah, Oh, so they got I the wrong house? No, they had the right house. Oh, I just had the wrong house. Yeah, okay, sounds yeah. So I was just like, no, no, no. I was like, wanking oh, in a different so. room. <laughs> 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 that's when Paris just left me in the living room. I was like a decoy. <laughs> ah, that's funny, man. That's wild, that. Imagine mm. that. Are people, like, do people go wild in Ireland because of the, they're oppressed because of the Catholic thing? Yeah, I think there's an element of that. There's also an element I of, like, know. fuck all to do as well. Like, not much to do. Yeah, and. there was, like, one um, club open that was open like every month and yeah. everyone would go just once a month yeah and oh, and when it is finished the floor would just be carpeted in pills and yeah. the toilets would need like unblocking is that a pumping where's this where is it i don't know i can't remember Morehill, Morehill county leitrim mm, i don't know outside no. of northern ireland i don't know yeah don't, um, make, don't make a mountain out of it <laughs> 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 Outside of Northern Ireland, I have no idea. I rarely I think, venture down south. I think there's a lot of like not, towns not and nice. villages <laughs> that you just drive through. Yeah, there's massive drug problems in because mm. there's nothing else there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Same. It'd be the same in England and that as well, isn't it? Like little little towns and that <clears throat> working right. class towns that have just been fucked over and that. Yeah, and yeah. Just all drugs, loads yeah. of drugs, drinking, yeah. and shit like that. I, I, the, 
Sorry. Sorry, no, you were. I noticed, like, in the schools, everyone was, like, we're better behaved. Mm. Like, in English schools, everyone was really naughty. Yeah. But in Ireland, there was, a like, a teacher who was, like, heavily cross-eyed, and we, we, she wouldn't let us look up from the books. So she'd be like, everyone look down. And then we was only allowed to look at the board when she said so. Like, that strict. Yeah. She controlled where your eyes were pointed. Well, you do, you do <laughs> find she couldn't control where her own eyes were pointed. <laughs> <laughs> she's, just, she's just jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I I just, uh, go on, sorry, man. Go ahead. Student area of Belfast, you will get a lot of people who move from, like, rural towns and villages. And they're and the then most they put them all together in the world. In an area called the aptly named Holy Lands. <laughs> and it is... <laughs> Carnage, it's mental. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So, like we just got onto teachers there, right? I I want to start this new feature called the creepy teacher feature, um, because the other day I retweeted some lab Bible thing and it said like fucking what was the what's what what's something your school done that was a bad idea? And I put like hire the paedophile for head of science, <laughs> and I had loads of people commenting on it with all like their own teacher things. So I got two here, um, uh, the producer from Dead Men Talking, Tom, he put a. We had a fat bloke called Mr. White. He was a supply teacher who would come in, let us all do what we want, and he'd just draw the fittest girl in the class. And then, But to be fair, he was a great artist, but very odd. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was another one, uh, a physics teacher used to take his socks and shoes off during every lesson, teach barefoot, before putting on a different pair of socks at the end of the lesson. And then he said, another one we had used to pick his belly button and sniff oh. his finger and then wash his hands. That's not creepy. That's dirty. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird. Like, do you have any? Uh, do you have weird teachers? Any uh, creepy yeah, teachers we, we in that school? Like, everyone had a pedo teacher. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where like you couldn't prove anything, but it was like that's the. I remember one. It was a science teacher. I'll not say his name. I'm pretty sure he still works there. And one day in class, he just he was, he took literally we were all doing her work, and he just took out a stethoscope, put it in his ears. And walked up to a girl in our class and just like put it in her chest and started doing this. Like uh, in front of the class. Hey. I went, I'm just listening to your heartbeat. And went dead quiet. And then Is like she's still alive. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we it was deadly quiet. And then a wee chav girl in our class just went, Sir, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even get annoyed because it it was weird. Yeah. So it, even that, he knew it was like, oh sorry. Yeah, he, sorry. he was like red in the face. He's like, Don't speak to me like that. And she's like, Don't be a <sighs> fucking creep, man. It is mad how many like well, maybe not, because that's where you gravitate to if you wanted a job, if you was a pedo in it. But yeah, yeah, it like, makes sense. It's mad how many school pe- uh, people are like, oh, yeah, we had one in our school. Like, we've got an actual, like, we had one, and he was actually, like, convicted and that. Just oh, found fucking yeah. cameras oh, in the girls' changing rooms and I stuff like that. we're all going to get shagged by undertakers when we die. <laughs> Like Jesus the wrestler? wrestler? Yeah, the wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> People who are in the same place for that. Uh, that's a bit of a dark one, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone. But I'm yeah. dead. I know, yeah. I, I don't give a shit. That's yeah, fine. you're providing a bit of fun, like, for... That's like, fine. Uh, but yeah. it's, it's probably inevitable. Like, a, like an organ donation? <laughs> the weird an <laughs> orgasm donation? Yeah. Fair play, because I'm getting cremated, so yeah. good luck to him. Yeah. They're adding that to the organ donor cards dick. as well. Yeah. Like, corneas, yeah. lungs... Yeah. Bum all. My arse, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's mad. But yeah, mad. So if you've got any creepy teacher stories, send them in. That's what I want to hear about them all. There was one, and he deleted his tweet, but the one that made me, like, share it and be like, send us in, you creepy teachers. I can't even remember it, because I went to look at it today, and he's deleted it for some reason. And I was like, oh, I wonder if anyone was like, hey, some, they've got take him. that off. They've maybe. got him. Yeah. I don't think I ever had a creepy teacher. Don't no. Know. I probably did. They were just, he was unreal. At we had ones, and it was like, Obviously, the convicted one, he was a creepy one. But then there was, like, just rumours about the others. Like, yeah. He puts mirrors on his shoes and looks up <laughs> girls' skirts and that. He's like, what, what an inspector gadget approach to, <laughs> to Pervin. <laughs> if you're going to put that much effort in, yeah, you can see my arse. <laughs> if you're going to put that amount of work in. I don't think he, like, extended out of his <laughs> shoes <laughs> like, ac- across the classroom. <laughs> like, <laughs> he slapped the student's arse, but weirdly he was at home at the time. It's just a bit extendable arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had loads of like we had a mad teacher and he used to like he could draw the map of the world on the on the whiteboard, like the whole map. But if you asked him to do it, like he had to do it. So people used to just get out of lessons by going, Hey, <laughs> he doesn't believe you that he can that you can do that and he'd go, Fucking hell. Uh, and he'd be there for like twenty minutes, everyone would be like, Yeah. We we had a librarian <laughs> join the school. Um middle aged guy, retired, looking for something to do. Mm. Very softly spoken, like lovely fella. And someone just started a rumor once, and the rumor was 
Do you know that guy has a tattoo on his back of dogs playing poker? <laughs> you know that famous painting? <laughs> He's full colour tattoo of it on his back. <laughs> and then that word got around, so I remember going up to him, first time I was in the school library. Sir, do, do, you have a, do you have a tattoo on your back of dogs playing poker? And he was like, no. <laughs> I remember like a week later, seeing someone else go up to so you have a tattoo in your... It's true you have a tattoo... And he's like, at that point he's cutting people, I don't have a... And a memo went round, all the teachers, forum teachers, got everyone together and were like, um, people need to stop asking the librarian if he's a tattoo, <laughs> believe there's a rumour he's tattoo. If he doesn't. And then everyone's like, he does, so if, he's put, if he's going that much effort. <laughs> and the guy, apparently, I wasn't there, but apparently someone went to ask him. Yeah. And the guy just went nuts and the rumour was that he like Hulk Hogan like took his shirt off I'm like just say I don't I don't <laughs> just a um, big swastika sticker or but I love it if <laughs> Scott's playing blackjack <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if he, I'd love it if he caught himself in the mirror and, it, and he did have it like, like oh fuck it <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah he just forgot yeah, he yeah, got yeah. one just time got it, yeah. Yeah. we had a psycho teacher not a creepy teacher oh yeah it's psycho. and everyone called him he was a technology teacher no like building shit and everyone called him trigger because he cut off his index finger on a sander <laughs> and he was a fucking mental bastard. One time, one person walked past him and was like, what's happening, Derek? And he fucking decked him. Yeah, is that his first name? Yeah, his name was Derek. He was like, what's happening, Derek? And he fucking decked him. And he went, it's Mr. Clarkson to you, dickhead. And he'd done that about two or three times. Yeah, right. And he kept getting away with it. Yeah. That's my, so badass. Like. My dad told me a story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, someone calling you by your first name. <laughs> <laughs> my, my Someone called me Derek and smacked him. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, right, when when he was in school, obviously fucking teachers used to still batter people and that. And they 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 found out a teacher's first name, but they told their mate that it was a, a lad <clears throat> in school. And he was going, "Hey, shout him for us!" And so he was shouting, Excellent. he's shouting the name, and the teacher fucking starts coming up and just twatted them everywhere. Apparently, and oh, they're just like, eh. yeah. <laughs> "Like what a cruel thing to do to your mate, <laughs> isn't it?" But like, how hype would teachers have got back in the day? Like, just know. if like you're a bit of a beta guy or whatever, things weren't going well. You're yeah. like, I can go in today and beat the fuck out of some of these guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be buzzing like just anything wrong. Like, must, someone sneezes. It must have been so much easier to be a teacher when yeah. you could just like s smack this kid in that fear. Because like. now they've got no. There's just no power. Like, yeah, yeah. At all, I don't like. I'd, I'd hate to be a teacher You'd now. Shit yourself like, if uh, in those days your teacher was going through a divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sir, I forgot my homework. Like, why don't you love me, Carl? <laughs> huh? oh, it up. doesn't impress her anymore. I can draw a full map of the world on demand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it all. Right. Uh, can we have a little two minutes? I just need to go shoot yep. the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We'll come back. See you in a minute. Merch. We've got merch. So there. much merch. What is it? Comedymerch.co.uk. It'll say it on the screen what it is. Comedy on merch. It. Go on it. We've got so many designs designed by me and Dean. Yours All truly. All different colours. Uh, hoodies. T-shirts. Crew necks. Crew necks. Sweaters. Loads of stuff. stuff. Buy some stuff. Support the podcast. Represent us when you're walking through these streets. Yes, please. Uh, you'll see some of the fantastic merch we've got in the video that's playing in between us. Here. Over here. Um. Yeah, I, the, the merch is great. I love the merch. Can't wait for our merch to come. Rep the bong man. I love Little the bong, bong man. man. The bong is so cool. I love him. The name Johnny Bongo was already taken, so we'll have to come up with a new name for him. But Jimmy Bongo. Jimmy Bongo. Represent. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, and you also get discount codes for this merch over on Patreon Ooh, as well. So yeah, get over on Patreon for the good stuff. Should have put that on a Patreon advert. Never mind. It's on here instead. See you on Patreon or on the merch website. See you on the streets wearing the merchandise. Is right. Get on them. Fresh gams. Comedymerch.co.uk or .com, whatever it says here. Thank you. Merch. Thanks for that. Bye. Feel supreme! We contacted these guys ourselves because we wanted to be sponsored by a brand that we genuinely believed in. If you want to improve your sleep, digestion, relieve stress... Everything you want for an easier life, you need to get on. Feel supreme. We started using uh, the Lion's Mane Tincture, which was winner of the best supplement award in the UK. We put it in our coffee in the morning and it helps with memory and focus. Studies show that Lion's Mane stimulates the growth of brain cells and helps to protect against disease such as Alzheimer's. And it's the easiest way to do it. Just put it in your coffee in the morning. Lovely. Tastes <laughs> nice. Done. Flying. Flash. Have you ever heard of nicotinamide riverside? What's that, dear? Riverside, motherfucker. Neither had we. <laughs>
we hadn't heard of it either. You need to look it up because apparently it's a natural anti-aging supplement. Widely studied health benefits that you can use to treat cardiovascular, neurodegenerative and metabolic disorders. Who doesn't want to deal with the metabolic and neurodegenerative and disorders? And cardiovasculars. I do. <laughs> they've got loads of stuff. They've got CMOS, they've got hemp protein, stuff for your brain, stuff for your guts, stuff you've never heard about. But once you read up on it, you'll be like, why have I not heard of this? And why isn't it taught in schools? Ashwagandha. Shilajit. <laughs> All this stuff <laughs> is good for you. We're not just making up words. These are actual things that you need to know about. They make T- you feel supreme. TMHC 15. For 15% off, you feel 15% more supreme yeah. with 15% off. <laughs> TMHC 15. Feel supreme. Go get your brain t- stronger. Go get some riverside. Feel supreme. Sorry? I'm yeah. starting this on I'm a... on a, a yeah. We're talking about football and England fans being the worst. Yeah. <laughs> no, William, I can't believe you said that. I'd, I'd imagine... To the, the camera, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, even just like English people going abroad, they're like going to Benidorm and all them places, like the fucking... Locals must absolutely hate them. <laughs> it's, it's all the same type of people, innit? Like the fucking obnoxious ones who can fucking get on the ale and just like... Make beer belly. Know, like don't don't bother learning languages or even trying and... Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, the like, words, I'm Irish, never leave my mouth so quick. They, can't work, out, <laughs> they yeah. can't work out why the Spanish people have the audacity to yeah. speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What fuck's yeah. this guy yeah. do? I, I've yeah. spent two grand to come here and drink in an English pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And ban it on. Yeah, but, yeah. Then, but then you'll fume if so, if there's a foreign person over here that yeah. can't speak English. Yeah, but you we say I mean? that like about English people going to English bars and you do that whole thing where you go away with your wife or whatever and you're like, like, see this whole trip, let's not go to an Irish bar. And then the second you see the fucking fid- the fiddler yeah. over there, yeah. you're like, come on. Yeah, 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 we're in. Do you have your old yeah, tools? Yeah. You're like, yeah, they'll do it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I think we only went to that one in the whole of Toronto or was Toronto we were yeah. in? Not? Yeah. We went to one Irish bar. That's right. You're like, why, why would I come all the way to Tenerife not to have a lasagna? <laughs> 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 and mulligans. Uh, uh, right, so we do, uh, we've do. got some Patreon it. questions. And then yes. we'll get you yeah, out yeah. of here. Go for um, Nando's. Go Nando's. Yeah, man. Do you just want to come? Oh, we can go. Do you want to go Nando's? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sick. Let's go um, Nando's. Naomi Mitchell. Some missionary chicken. <laughs> uh, if tea was made illegal, how would Shane survive? And would he become a tea dealer? I'd definitely go black market. Black market tea, yeah, hundred percent. I can't really do without it. What what tea? What tea do you have? Breakfast. Breakfast. But like, if it came, I could see if it became illegal in a different. I could see me. I'd take Earl Grey. Like, it could get to that <laughs> point where I'd be I'd be in an alleyway. I'd be in an alleyway down the chamomile. Um, that would be your dealer name. Well, the Earl of Grey. Earl Grey. Earl, yeah, Earl, yeah. The Earl of Grey. Yeah. <laughs> I, li- I like a good strong breakfast tea. Right. Can I be yeah. honest? It's yeah. exclusive. There's a place for it, honestly. I'm thinking about starting my own brand Ooh. of tea. Oh, do you know why? Yeah, I love tea. Thanks. Do you know why? Because everything <laughs> nowadays is artisan. It's mm. flavored tea. It's this. It's that. Yeah. What happened to good, strong, proper tea? I'll drive you tea. Strong and what mixed milk race. do you use? Hmm? <laughs> do you use milk in your tea? Almond. Almond milk in tea. Yeah. yeah. yeah Any yeah. sugar? Oh. Nope. No. no. Oh, that's gotta be. Don't a get me wrong. It was a time where. It, Time when I was it was cow's milk and and one or sometimes two sugars. Oh yeah, nice. If I was you know fucking living dangerous once yeah. I turned eighteen, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like yeah, I just I just I go. I remember when I used to drink tea in my granny's house. Mm. You know when you're just you know that proper like council house strong tea. Yeah, right. And and I used to when I was a kid I used to drink the bottom of the mug. Yeah, it used to be left a wee bit. And I was like rocket fuel that tea. <laughs> I want I want to go back to that tea. If tea was made illegal. Um, yeah, I'd be doing things that I'd never done before. Yeah. <laughs> Sucking dicks for teas now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> things he's never done before. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm giving a blow job for a tea, but um, you know, They're like you can just pay for this. You're like you're you're around the bag of a Tim Hortons. You're all right, man. <laughs> so what? What? I just, like, what is it with tea? What is your podcast called? Beautiful. What? Called, called tea with me. Yeah. Tea with me. Because when you is it, is it yeah, you're like that kid with corn. <laughs> I just love corn. Do you know, it's tea. <laughs> it's just it settles you. Just a pun about tea. <laughs> Listen, I like it's a laugh. It's got the leaves. It's got the leaves. I like a laugh, but as I said before, I know where the line is, and it's here. Um, it just it settles you. It's comforting. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. And when you sit and have a cup of tea, 
the the re- the, the world's problems go away. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Logan. I like it. I like it. The <laughs> world's <laughs> problems go yeah. away. Well, have just, you got a brand name? Yes. Can't share it. Oh, really? Hot toddy. Hot toddy, that's what I was thinking. That's good, but oh. then it would have to be with whiskey. Uh, would it be anyway? Mm. Stereotypical. <laughs> well, no, you do. You. Well, that's maybe the mark we're not hitting because yeah, yeah. obviously whiskey and coffee, yeah, yeah. whiskey and tea. Mm. Um, I do have, I do have a name. Okay, but you're keeping that under wraps until you got your patent. Yep, nice. I like it. So there you go. Yeah. Um, you become a you. Be- so what was the question? We got scammed Sorry, out of all everyone. our money over a cup of tea once in China. How dear was the tea going to be? It's it was called a tea house scam, right? And so. You have a cup of tea, and then and when the bill comes, it's like all our money. And I've they go, oh, it's ancient Chinese tea. Yeah. And then I've heard about this. Do you know why I would never be scammed for that? Why? Bring my own tea. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, is that Earl Grey? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying I, I would never drink Earl Grey unless tea became illegal, in which case... I be I be doing uh, sexual favors for sailors or uh, of any occupation. <laughs> What's that. your if you're going to recommend the tea? What is it? Here's what I could one. say. I could say the tea that sponsors my podcast, but people will be like, "You're just trying to be on brand." So mm. just to prove it, I'll go off brand. Okay, Barry's tea. Barry's. It's tea. an Irish tea. They have uh, a red box and a green box. It's the green. That tea is th- is perfect. Okay, and just for. Other sakes, what's the one that sponsors your podcast? Punjana Thompson's tea. Okay, nice. great tea, made in Belfast. Yeah, yeah. Do you, can you get it over here? I can speak to you, guy. Okay, sound there. Do you think that's t- a top level operation? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're doing an unboxing for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you a tea man? I, I drink green tea. Green what tea. I drink. Oh, right, okay, nice. Or as we call them, exactly. heathens. <laughs> <laughs> I like. You enjoy that in the helmet. I will, I will. Yeah, that's what I'll go to hell for. <laughs> Out of everything I say today, green tea. Yeah, smoking crack joints and that. You're like, oh, it's green tea though. You I don't mind him smoking head. crack, but if he's drinking green tea, <laughs> he's ever ordered himself. <laughs> oh, fuck it up. So, yeah, well, there we go. Right. Question two. Jane Pickering, please ask Shane to talk about the imposter Shane pretending to be him in Belfast. Yeah. So I got messages about this guy. How, so did, they, how did they tell the party? They go, drink that Earl Grey. He went, mm, <laughs> anyway, you're not the real Shane Todd. <laughs> I could never be a spy. Um, yeah, I, I have so many lookalikes and doppelgangers because yeah. I have quite a... I've quite a general face. Well, you posted a picture the other day, and I said you look like Paddy the Baddy on it. Yeah, yeah. And you looked an absolute spit of him on it. it was I've mad. got that so much over the years. Yeah. And like, like every Russian teenager. Yeah. <laughs> male, any, or fe- male or female. Any short-haired <laughs> lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> any young student teacher. Yeah. <laughs> what am I missing? There's so many. No, that's that's it. <laughs> but I get ta- like the amount to look like is crazy. But there's yeah. a guy who. I I actually he, I was doing Lavery's comedy club once before and he was in the front row and he has my exact face and yeah. I I started my set and I was like come here maybe it was him outside the bar when you were on Salvia yeah holy oh. shit <laughs> Whoa. 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 I gave this guy the mic because he looked up like me and I gave him my jacket yeah. and I sat in the audience and said <laughs> stand there um, but yeah he's, he's a guy from home who was just out yeah. and the, these girls were like he's telling everyone he's you trying to get free pints oh, but then shit. the guy messaged me and was like just let you know. I absolutely was not doing that. Right, okay. And I was yeah. like, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just have, have multiple lookalikes. Well, so people were, me- like, so that's weird. The people were messaging you going, he's going round. It's funny if it pints. was you. Going, well, that, I'm Shane Todd, you know, gives free uh, pints. By the way, <laughs> that's how they know it wasn't me, because it won't gluten free pints. <laughs> yeah. It was gluten free Peroni. Yeah. That's me pulling a scam. That's me pulling yeah, a, a, yeah. a DHO scam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's mad. That's so weird having a little imposter. But he wasn't actually really doing anything. No, 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 no. Not no, that no. you know of. No. And good luck to people that are getting away with it, you know? Yeah, fair do. Yeah. Respect the hustle. Yep. <clears throat> I, get, I get terrible look alikes. You, you know, you get like, you know, you look like Paddy Pimblett. You get Warwick Davis. I get told I look like a tiger with Down syndrome. Yeah. There is a photo of a, 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 a tiger with Down syndrome. It, it is, actually, it actually is. No, no, you're saying it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. You haven't even seen the tiger. But I have seen the tiger. Oh, that's why I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's I the spit of me. That. Yeah. I'm not being ableist. Picture him with an orange and black face. <laughs> Maybe not black face. <laughs> 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 well, uh, have you ever. <laughs> apart from Down syndrome, Tiger is what, what, like. The Grinch. Anything with a little upturned nose. It's oh, never, okay. I think, good. It's yeah. never Gimli or Lord of the Rings? I don't look like Gimli. Gimli, I don't look like. He doesn't. He's just small, but he's yeah. also ginger. Yeah, yeah. Um, I look like the Grinch. I look like the Who. Anything Dr. Seuss wrote. 
Right. Okay. <laughs> I look like that. Right. Okay. I look like a, some a lot of small dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never anything good. Did you say work, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have any that where someone goes, "Oh, you look like so and so," and then you see them and you go, "What the fuck?" Oh. It, it's the person themselves. All right, man. My girl says I look like you, and they send them a picture, and I'm like, oh, "Mate, right. no offense. Uh, you're very ambitious. You don't. Yeah, no yeah, one's yeah. dying to do that to me." <laughs> you got Steve Aoki. Yeah, I used to get people oh, yeah. say Steve yeah, yeah, Aoki, yeah, yeah. like the the Japanese. Full Japanese yeah, yeah. Man. I know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. But to if you were, if I saw you and you were on the brow of a hill, I might think you were Asian. <laughs> Why? Why on the brow? Just like of from a, a distance. Oh right. <laughs> oh okay. Right. Like I like brow, like you know, like uh, like Is from. That, yeah. Uh, me doing that didn't help, did it? I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. We had, oh, that's fucking so stupid. We went to, when we were in China, we were on the Great Wall and we were like, oh, we get a little selfie, you no know, touristy proper, and the, and the fucking sun was in our eyes. So we're there taking pictures going, uh oh. <laughs> and then we were like, oh, this might look really bad, man. Yeah. There's a lot of people know, oh, that's Steve yeah. Aoki. Okay. <laughs> Great Wall of China. Mm. Steve yeah. A. Smokey. <laughs> Well, that's my new name. Stevia anyway. Smokey. There yeah. we go. Oh, workshop in here. Love it. Yeah. So, uh, so, so we not really a proper imposter. Then it was just no, no, no. He messaged you going. I weren't doing that. Yeah, so yeah. That's right. Nice. So go on, go on, um, last one. This uh, would you rather uh, Daniel Reese? Would you rather be trapped in Matrix or Lord of the Rings universe? Don't mention that, Gimli. Lord of the Rings. A bit of a dark, I <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I I love would you like rings. the red pill or blue pill? Absolutely, I'll go back to work in the desk. I don't, I don't give a fuck. And I love activity, so I'd love to just. <laughs> just, try just I'd love to get into more and yeah. just go and have a normal life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, fuck this, you weird dude in sunglasses and trench coat. I'm not taking. No, no, I don't want to come live with you and your mates in a van. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, being. Do you want to live in the shower? Oh, There's yeah. the shower where it's at. I love activities. Shire, I'm, shire, I looked, shire. I looked at the boys heading off for mortar, and I was like, "That's what I'm talking about when I say I like an activity day." Mm, yeah, you know looked, what I mean. It looked like a fun-filled day. Trying to dodge shower man. I love that shit. I remember. <laughs> I went to see the final Lord of the Rings with my parents. Right. And there was a thing to send them called the Kids Club. Mm. Right. So they would show up for kids. Seriously? Because it's such a long <laughs> kids and pedos, that's who went. <laughs> and because the movie was so long, they'd split it into two halves. Now, my parents fucking hated Lord of the Rings. So do you know the scene where he comes out with Fro Frodo's vest and he throws it to the ground right, and goes, yeah. The hobbits are dead. That's where the break was. And my parents went, Movie's over, let's go. Uh, <laughs> so for years, I was like, they just fucking they killed. They die at the just end. Just killed it and lost. <laughs> oh, what a grim movie. Grimly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a horrible ending that would be. Oh, they got so close and they just smashed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, they're dead, by the way. All right. yeah. And no credits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah no. fuck that, yeah. Uh, so you go Matrix, not take the pill, live a normal life. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, how many know. movies does that happen for? Like, do you still think Bruce Willis is alive in Sixth Sense? Yeah, yeah. What's the yeah, that, that, It's a weird kids club, that. Uh, What's well, the Sixth Sense? Yeah. yeah. Hans Gruber wins and Die Hard. You think ti everyone Titanic just fucking got off at New York went for a few pints? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> First Irish bar they find that, yeah. Schindler's List is just him bringing people working in his factory. <laughs> yeah. As, as far as I know. <laughs> oh, I see that. <laughs> Shane's afraid we've got Kanye Wested here. That's He's like, oh, that's enough. That's enough. I ordered Burr nice. Yeezys ages ago. Yeah. And they arrived after his full meltdown. And I wore them the day <laughs> after it. And it looked like I was making a political statement. Didn't it? <laughs> Kanye literally said all the DEFCON stuff. Yeah. He's going to go DEFCON 3. And the next day I was walking about being like, look, this bad timing, but this is when we got these. Did you see what he done when he got let back on Twitter? Because he's, he's back on Twitter and Trump's back on Twitter. And that. like his first tweet was like, shalom. And a smiley <laughs> face. <laughs> I didn't even really like Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 oh fuck it, man! Right. Oh. Uh, go on. What were you gonna say, man? Oh no, I was just going. Oh, oh just <laughs> making a little noise. Yeah, <laughs> noise. <laughs> right. I think we'll. Uh, do you want to do a uh, proudest moment and then? We done that before, oh. didn't we? Did what? Have you done your proudest moment? Oh no, I might have said oh. it, and then you asked a different one because you've done addiction. So it's cool. Right, we we'll wrap it up. Then we do proudest moment, most shameful moment, just to balance them out. Same, same thing for me. Same one, yeah. For, first time I was playing New York. Um, really wanted the bag at like row three on the plane, three mm. seats together, lift the armrest up, go for a sleep. Um, kind of played a game before, like, so I know what I'm at. Yeah. And I went for it at exactly the same time. Like, I'd say a 70 year old woman from, from Ireland 
went at the same time we ended up like nearly button heads trying to get in I just got in before mm. <laughs> and she was like looking at me like I'm a 70 year old lady like <laughs> I need the space for a long flight Yeah, and I said my leg's just out of plaster and I have Crohn's disease now I do have Crohn's <laughs> disease I do have Crohn's <laughs> But my leg wasn't just out of plaster, and I hit her with both those things, and she was that confused that I then oh, just like two there, yeah. I just I was like I'm sorry, and then I got the row, and she looked at, and she then went back and told whoever she was with like the rest of her party, and they all were like, like oh, you horrible, and I'm just there, <laughs> Crohn's disease in my fine leg, uh, um, so so then just uh, enjoying the. I basked in the victory of that, okay. so that was my proudest moment, but also there was a lot of shame. And where, where did like she go? That, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like her, she just sat with her arthritis in twenty seven C. As you say, just put her in the hand luggage above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I had a flight on. Went to Australia and I had that three seats to myself. I was like, oh, I was sick. I'll try and get some sleep because I ate flying. Yeah. So I was like, oh, at least if I can lie down, I maybe fall asleep. And as soon as I lay down, it turbulence the whole way. So they were like, you have to sit up and put your seatbelt on. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is awful. So yeah. I was just, I had the whole row on my own. Didn't even have anyone that's to hold on to. And I was enough, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. But yeah, that's a funny one, that you're proudest and shameful. Yeah, same yeah. same thing. <laughs> Booting to my But the pride did deny her that. Yeah. Through the road, like, can't tell you. Nice. Also the birth of my kids as well. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not, the, not the same, is it? <laughs> what about yourself, man? Uh, proudest. Opening for my favorite comic ever. I got Cheers, to do brother. that. You're welcome, man. Yeah. And who was it actually, Shane? No. <laughs> okay. <so. laughs> no, it was uh, Louis C.K. Oh, sick. Where yeah. was that? Where? Yeah. Uh, Limelight in Belfast. Oh, okay. Did cool. a travel lodge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then most shameful would probably be that police story. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a shameful yeah. one, that innit? That's mad. Caught wanking by the police. What was it like? Sting was for raging. Louis? Um. Really, really good. It's fucking really nice was guy. It, was it after the whole... Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like fucking two months ago. Oh, um, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's one of those, everyone's like, you know what he's done? I'm like, yeah, yeah, but I like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it was consensual f- though, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, we're too late in the podcast to, to get into this. <laughs> 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 but it, You're it, doing this spot. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to sit and talk with him and get yeah. advice from... Like, One of the greatest ever. In my yeah. opinion, the best ever. Yeah, yeah. And just to get advice and see how his brain works and how he'd write material and mm. sit at the wings and watch him do a show. Yeah. And also have him laugh at your stuff. My stuff. Yeah. See man, before hot class. water tonight. Yeah. You can ask me anything. No worries, mate. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sick, man. That's cool. It's a nice proud proudest moment to have, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, nice. Boss. So there we go. I think we've uh, come to a, a little <laughs> natural end there. Eh? Let's get our chicken um, on. Yeah. Let's go get our fucking sexy chicken on. Okay. Um, <laughs> so where can people find us? Oh, um, just the normal social media places. Social media. Just Shane Todd yeah. on there. Yeah. And then you've got, just, is just one podcast that you've got? Yep. Yeah. Tea with tea me. With, tea with me. Yeah. And what about yourself? What William you? Thompson, Instagram, TikTok, or the Mublub podcast Mub available. Blood. Where you get your podcasts. Yeah, man. Go check them out. Go give them a follow. Um, Thanks so much for coming out. Stuff. Thank, Thank you for having us, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, go check out the Patreon. Loads of stuff on there. Yeah, what else? Anything? Love you. E- email us in, you, you creepy teachers. The Mild High Club UK at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Bye. Nice one again, guys. Cheers. Merry Christmas. <laughs>